Heyo and a welcome in today. Today I'm drawing this corgi here. Um, it's a friend's corgi, so you won't find uh, this particular corgi anywhere else. Um, but it's a fun looking image um, to begin with. An interesting pose. He's kind of looking at you. He's all cozy in there. And it's really, I thought it was a, a good drawing to do. Um, this is a 90 minute art challenge. Um, not exactly you know, how to draw a corgi or anything like that, but, you know, hopefully just watching me and just me mentioning a few things here might help you in, you know, if you wanted to draw a corgi, um, in particular, maybe this one in particular, obviously, you know, I have this image on another screen as well, um, if you don't know that, you know, I have two screens, um, so the image you see over here um, of me drawing it is not the full view. Um, I have another window for that, um, but it's as much kind of as much information as I need with this view. So you know, if I had it on the other screen, I could close up um, to do what I need with that, or could zoom out. It depends. Um, but yeah, you know, I just start out drawing it. 90 minute art challenge again i do enjoy these 90 minute art challenges um they give me kind of um you know enough time to get things done um and it's like oh you know i'm on autopilot you know when i start that 90 minutes it's like oh i've got to get stuff done i've got to get this painting done um and i just trot it along where if it's like I would do this painting for this time I may just kind of do bits here and there and I might not get it all done you know um so having that 90 minutes is awesome to to get something kind of underway and also because I know it's like 90 minutes I, I'm not expecting much from it you know I'm not expecting it to be a final finished product or final finished painting so you know it doesn't i don't have to um expect too much and that gives me another motive to to push a bit further sometimes um obviously i drew this drawing um pre-recording pre-90 minutes a few times um i don't always do that but every now and again i either i decide i don't want to muck it up or don't want to struggle trying to get a good drawing um i just want to get the good drawing get the illustration going and get as much done of the painting as as i can within that nine minutes you know i don't want to be struggling and trying to sketch it and trying to figure out its proportions and everything um so sometimes i do pre um do the challenge you know do a few drawings of it over and over again a few times just to study where things sit so that is kind of you know <laughs> i guess a prerequisite to this you know um it is helpful um very helpful and gets more done within that 90 minutes um it's not necessarily but i think it's really helpful to get a little bit more achieved all that 90 minutes however obviously that time extra time on top of it you know um it's probably more than 90 minutes then because i've drawn it over and over again a few times um so you know it's probably three to four hours you know just me starting to draw this a few times for a couple of hours or so then the 90 minutes of me actually drawing it and painting it so you know it's a little bit more than that um and yeah it's just the subject matter i just wanted to get it a bit you know looking a bit better and i wanted to get further along and sometimes i do that with these 90 minute art challenges yeah i yeah, do those pre-sketches um it's it is helpful i think i did it for doberman as well i just wanted to get that doberman drawing and you know wanting to get more out of it that's what i do usually when i want to get more out of something i do 
those prerequisites or something uh, when it's just a you know just a 90 minute art challenge to kind of either fill in the time or just get another painting another drawing done um, explore a few things within their 90 minutes um, I don't worry too much because it's just for fun it's just um, it's just helpful to do and it just gets a painting done within those nine minutes um, but because this is kind of a prerequisite because I've got a, a corgi painting um, that I'll be doing in the next week or so um, or two weeks I've got to do it um, of my next um, painting that I've got planned involves a corgi so this is kind of prerequisite for it um, and I always set up prerequisites for things because yeah I've, I've talked about this in quite a few other videos that I've had in the past about doing prerequisites um, things to, to help you out in future paintings it, you know it does really help um, because it's you know it's gonna be uh, <laughs> it's gonna really help because you don't want to get to something you don't want to get to a painting or an illustration um and you just struggle on that one thing that really holds down the painting because you don't you haven't done anything before like it like for instance um maybe silver gold um eyeballs ears pause you know all these little things that you don't haven't you know done and that are involved in your painting in some way or form um you know cushions doing cushions in this painting um you know if i really wanted to i would like study a few cushions and things before doing this painting but you know i wasn't too worried about that kind of thing uh, but you know <laughs> i could do that in another 90 minute where you know, just paint cushions or something, you know, something fluffy, um, like that to, to understand texture a little better. Um, it does really help to really, uh, get things going, get paintings done. This was lots of fun. I had fun painting this, um, dividing the different, um, elements of the painting up. I, I thought, you know, I didn't know what to expect within 90 minutes I thought you know maybe I might just get a few colors here and there um but I actually got a uh, wee more than expected achieved in a way I thought I would just get like a, a nice solid drawing um pretty much down and maybe a basic tones or something um but I'm actually you know getting pretty far these days with these 90 minutes um, and that's just from doing them over and over and over again over the last um, year or so. Um, I just achieve a little bit more each time. Um, and that's what is great. Uh, huge improvements um, from just doing it over and over again. So, highly recommend. Hopefully, you've enjoyed seeing me paint this corgi. Um, feel free to, you know, come check out any of my other 90 minute art challenges. Let me know uh, down in the comments your thoughts, your feelings about anything I've said. Um, if you enjoy these videos. If you do 90 minute art challenges yourself. If you think about, if you're thinking about doing any. Um, if you know uh, another image site is pixabay.com which has awesome and not affiliated in any way but they have awesome images that i do every now and again grab images for these 90 minute art challenges from um so feel free to go to that website and find an image um at random the good um just to scroll through sometimes and be like i want that image and i want to paint that um, sometimes I might actually search for something. Um, yeah, I try in 50-50. Sometimes I do random ones. And other times I do more kind of pinpoint a painting or a subject that I want to get better at. Like painting this corgi. Painting a dog's. Getting better at painting dogs. Um, 
obviously only a 90 minute ad challenge but i think you know i've done quite well for 90 minutes uh in my my eyes um so far so keep creating guys keep drawing and see you in the next video